Thank you. Thank you. Oh, snap, crack a pop. Oh, here, I'll hold that. <laughs> Did you get a drink or no? I got oh. a LaCroix. Thank you. Or barbecue, dang. Oh my god, they hooked me up with five. I'm gonna they, want, they want your. Oh, thing. sorry. You're fine. <laughs> thank you. Walk Wait, was that everything? Yeah, that's yeah. everything. Awesome. Thank you. They could tell I was very confused. Do you not like get they in were... your? Do you not just immediately drive off? No, because I am traumatized from normal fast food restaurants. Like not and... giving you your stuff. Yeah, it's just mm, that's, not okay. That rarely has happened to me, but it's never happened at Chick Fil A. Oh. Uh oh. oh okay. I'm gonna go straight and I'll park she in was the DQ. In, she was in the middle of the road just then, like sitting, waiting for people to pass. I just thought I should call you out on that. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. And I'm actually gonna park in between Strange two light. parking spots. Wow. That's just how we be. Wait, this lighting's really bad. We need a different Wait, really? You're spot. doing that? What? Parking between two? I mean, I just did. Yeah. Oh, were you being sarcastic? I mean, like... Were you gonna actually do it? I was gonna actually do it, but the lighting is not very good, so we're gonna... We're gonna relocate. You're the kind of person that I would write a note on. Well, if I'm sitting in my car and I'm parking in two parking well, spots. Well, then, then I would just come and knock on your door. No, I would never do that. <laughs> but I know, like, if I'm, like, sitting there for, like, a brief amount of, pe a brief period amount of time, is that how you say it? Just like, a brief period of time. A, yeah, you're right. Yeah. A brief period of time, then I know that it's fine. <laughs> right. But, like, if I'm, like, going into the mall and I'm parking in between two parking spaces, like, I'm definitely, have you seen that video on Facebook where these, this guy, like, parks like a jerk? Um, they took their two Jeeps, like giant, like jacked up Jeeps, and parked so close to them. The guy, they filmed the guy crawling into his car from his trunk. They like hooked it. I actually am gonna keep these in my car. Good deal. With all my other honey packets. Yeah, really. <laughs> I have about like 12 honey packets. Yeah, I couldn't get in the car this morning because it was just like. Because I was staying at a hotel the first few days before I came to Bailey's, and um, they had honey packets. And like, as a singer, you always need honey packets on you. So like, I don't keep honey packets. On I just took honey packets. <laughs> she does. <clears throat> you never know. Okay, so this person said, thing. "What are your dream collaborations?" Okay, well this is kind of hard because you know, are they talking about like my dream duet or like my dream write? Like, okay, if my dream write, I'll name like my writers I would love to write with. Um, Shane McAnally, of course. Shame. Um, Natalie Hemby, Nicole Galleon. I never know if I say her name right. Galleon. Is it Galleon? I always say Galleon. Or, I used to say Galleon, but it's... How did you say it is? Galleon. Galleon. So Nicole Galleon, um, John Knight, Chase McGill, a lot of people. Uh, Jordan Reynolds is amazing, and Jordan Minton. Um... He was so good. So many. The other there's so many. Um, Jesse Lee. Mm. She's awesome. Justin Ebach. Yeah, Justin Ebach. He's. I mean, there's a lot. Like, there's so many. Um, and then like duet wise, like if I were to do a song, I think it'd be so cool to do it with Keith Urban. I just love him. Um, if I could write like a super sassy song and have Dolly Parton singing it with me, I would like death. Yeah, I would die like the happiest person in the world. Like. I can't talk about it because it would make me emotional. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm an emotional person. So, I'm on the that, opposite. Yeah. I think that there's so many that I'm thinking of, like Dan and Shay. Like, I would be so scared to do a duo with them. Just I would because too because they're amazing. Or no. Wait, what are you going to say? I would be afraid because they're, they are so like, like his voice is so high and I can't do that. We all I would know. be like. Hey, you sing the high notes, I'll act like I'm a man. Yeah, he I'll can hit sing every well. single note there is. Have you seen I a really video think. on Instagram where he hits, like, the highest harmony? I don't think I've seen that. I need to look at it. It's like... <laughs> a high. Oh, oh, oh. It's, like, insanely high, which that sounded terrible, too. but, like, you Want know what I'm talking about. Go. <laughs> I'm not being serious. She has a lower register. I'm, like, a lower, like, raspy register. Yeah. I'm, like, I feel like... Yeah, here we go. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it, because they'll think I'm for real, and then it'll just be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's that's just screaming. But like to go like I can't do a real singing because it just to humiliate me if I went that high of singing. You can't do head voice? No, I can. But I'm not gonna do it because you're just better and I just don't wanna go there. So <laughs> I don't wanna go I've compli that. I've complicated what was I've complimented her so much this trip. I love it. 
need, you don't know if I'm wanting something from you. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not but, um, anyways, so yeah, um, I think Sam Hunt would be really cool. He's retiring. I know. I know. Yes. Blake Shelton would be so fun, I feel like, too. He Probably. Would be fun. Yeah. I don't know. There's, like, so many collabs I'd love to do. Like, obviously, like, a, oh, I'd love to get in the room with Kelsey. Or Carly Pierce. I love Carly Pierce. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Ashley McBride. That's her ultimate. Probably, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a, I, like, I mean, I think she's just so freaking cool because she's, like, the nicest person, the most talented person, too. And she's just, like, real and, like, so genuine. Oh, yeah, that's another one I met. Too. Yeah, I yeah, because we yeah. both we opened, opened for, her. for her. Different times, different yeah. states. So, I'd say writer-wise, definitely Shane McAnally and, um... Jordan Reynolds, and... I'm not a pig either. Neither am I, it's okay. I, like, think they saw me eat about five chicken nuggets in the Thai span. You mentioned two people. I have a moment. My, this is definitely my retirement. Um, so Shane McAnally, Jordan Reynolds, probably. Um, it used to be Josh Kerr, but then I got to write with him. That, that's one, too. I love him. Oh, Emily Wise Band? Oh, my God, yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. 100 Emily Wiseman. Yeah. She's the funniest person ever. Like, if you... Mm -hmm. If you follow like, her? Yeah. If you don't follow, follow her, her right now, follow it, her it's on like, Instagram. what is it, E. Wiseman? That's her name? Yeah, I think or, She wrote Consequences, just to give you a little background. And, like, a million more, too. Mm -hmm. That's just, like, like she has a Grammy. Gra mm -hmm. a, she has a Grammy. Yeah, she wrote Thy Will with Hilary Scott. Yeah. yeah. She has a Grammy. Like, Singer-wise? Mm -hmm. Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. Like, I just imagine don't... getting to perform on stage with her. How fun that would mm. be. Mm-hmm. Mary Morris. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I met her, too. Yeah? And Brett Aldridge. Same I show. I met Brett. Like, they were opening up for Keith, Brett, and Marin, and I was in, like, the little interview room, because it was through our local radio station, and, um, so I went, and I was sitting there. I love this song. You do? Yeah, this. <clears throat> Have you ever heard this song? <laughs> you don't like it. I don't listen, don't like I don't listen to rap. I don't listen to rap. I mean, there's like, it's not like I don't like any rap songs. Like, I, I totally like, like, when I'm in the car with like my friends, we play like throwback rap songs. It's like rap songs today because I guess I haven't really been into them. Post Malone, though. I love Post, I love Malone. Post Malone. I love Post Malone. Whenever I tell people, like, oh, they're like, oh, are you with, like, with anybody? I'm like, oh, I'm with United Talent Agency. And if they seem, like, hesitant at first, like, they don't know who that is because mm -hmm. there's, like, William Morris, yay, and that one. I'm like, Post Malone's on United, United mm -hmm. Talent Agency. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, because I feel cool, but yeah. I'm not. <laughs> this song, I will be honest, I have not been a fan of this song. I think it's such a bop. <clears throat> and it confuses me because it's like two songs in one. You know, it's like five minutes long and there's like pretty much two different like records. So, I don't know y'all, that's just what I said. Alright, are we moving on to the next question? I didn't finish Wait, the story you didn't about answer. Keith Urban. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot we were. Did you even answer what you wanted to do with your singing collapse? Yeah, I said Taylor Swift. Oh, that was it? And then we were about to talk about Keith Urban in the oh, yeah. backstage thing. And, and then I got and you, distracted. You got distracted See, I told by you, it distracts mode. me. It distracts me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Basically, I was sitting in the back of a tent, and um, Keith Urban walks in to do his interview with the station, which is on the opposite side of where I am. He, like, scans the room, sees me, doesn't go to the radio station, runs over to where I'm at, and is like, oh my god, Emily, and like gives me such a big mm -hmm. hug. He's very and, personable. Oh my god. And then he like pulled me and he's like, come do the interview with me. So I went and I did the interview with him with the station and it was, Every he's like time the coolest guy. He is. Every time I've seen him since the, sh like I played with him in, what was it, 2014? He greets me with like a, Bailey, oh my gosh, and like. Mm -hmm. Remembers things that like he totally doesn't have to remember. He's freaking Keith Urban. And That's I'm how Charles body. Kelly is. You know? Yeah, from Lady Antebellum. Like he'll it's see, so cool. We go to like the last time I went to his concert, he saw me in the crowd and was like, "Hey!" Oh, when he was that. on stage, Kelsey Ballerini did the same thing with me um, when I was opening up for her a couple of years ago. She was doing an interview at a hotel, like 
five, ten minutes away, and the radio station was, like, doing interviews with her or whatever, and she was like, well, what time does Emily go on? And they are like, well, she's on right now. And this is when I had met her before, oh, and I song. did the, um... <clears throat> I did the song, like, Love Me Like You Mean It with her when she showed up when I was opening up for Charles Kelly because she um, yeah. Charles. And she was at the hotel. was like, what time is Emily playing? They said she's on right now. Like, she's about 15 minutes into her set. And she's like, oh, my gosh, we have to go right now. She started running in her heels Aww. and, like, rushed and ran over to get side stage to watch yeah, me for the rest of my set. I don't know, like, okay. And, like, watch me for, like, my set and, like, Put me on her That's so She's sweet. like mm-hmm. the sweetest, most genuine human being like that I've met. Like I'd say Keith Urban. Um oh. I didn't want to jump up the car. Any more than it already is. <laughs> <laughs> um Mine's bad too. Keith Urban, Kelsey Ballerini, Taylor Swift. I think are the most genuine people I've ever met. Alright, let's hop on over to my questions and see what we have. <clears throat> for us over here. Okay, what's each of y'all's biggest pet peeves? You go first. So, I feel I'm, like this entire video is just gonna be me like stuffing my face. <laughs> um, yeah, only, I can move put over down anyway. the barbecue sauce, Emily. Put it down. Everyone's gonna come back and be like, oh, the Chick fil A sauce is better. No. I don't eat it with sauce. Don't come at me. Um,. Okay, so my biggest pet pet peeves are fake people. Oh. People who are just like, like you'll run into them, they're like, oh my gosh, hi, it's so good to see you. Just like that? They do that exact voice? Literally. Literally word for word. Yeah. Tone and everything. Yeah. Oh my gosh, hi, it's so good to see you. I've had that one, like like, that's (laughs) one specific artist that's greeted me like that. Really? Yeah. That makes me sad. Okay. I feel like I know who you're talking about. You've told me that story. Yeah. Um, mine. <clears throat> I, I I agree. This one's like not as deep as that. I hate smacking. Oh my gosh. When like they're eating. Chewing? Oh my gosh. Let me show you. Do you have a fry in here? I do. I have multiple. Oh, I, I didn't finish fry. them. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, you two. You're gonna hate me for a second. ASMR. No. I don't do that, and you shouldn't either. Go closer, gross. go closer, and go. Okay, let's just pack food, right? It's so nasty. Because people do it. I or this, it. or this. So, what are you going to, like, when they're talking, and they're like, uh-uh. Are you trying to call me out that I do that? No. Oh, weird, but... <laughs> I, I swear, I, I swear, <laughs> what if I really was up? I swear I wasn't. No. I hate when people consistently interrupt, like... That's like, not me, isn't it? No. Oh. Because I talk a lot, and sometimes I can't wait to... I just lick my fingers. <laughs> that was really gross. Okay. I don't like when people, like, <laughs> stick their finger in their mouth, and then, like, like a Who lollipop. Who are you friends with? <laughs> Who are you friends with that sticks their finger in their mouth like a lollipop? Ew! Get new friends! <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are you? <laughs> no, they're doing that. They're, like, they, like... No. No. Kisses. I'll be needing stitches And without your kisses I'll be needing stitches Look at you up here at I-106-7 um, We're selling Clarkson okay. tickets Oh, wait, we are going direction. the right way. Oh, wait, yes. we're actually on... Don't move. Keep going straight. Don't move? I mean, move, but like, don't go right here. I know exactly where it is. You're gonna make this person rear end me. I know I am. That's my goal. <laughs> but I love this car. I thought you saw that. I thought you saw I the see orange. Target. That's what my mind goes to is Target. But you see orange and I think Ulta. I mean, I didn't see orange. I saw the big bullet. Oh my god, there's a Kirkland's here. <gasps> Home goods? Huh? This is dangerous. Oh yeah. I'm really good about saving money. That's really good. Like I know coming in here that there's stuff I need, but like I'm gonna be like, do I really need it? And like Probably. There's a few See, I'm the opposite. I convince myself that I need it, like, at that moment. Really? Yeah, like... Okay, I used to be like that. <clears throat> but, but now uh, you live on your own. Now I so. live on my own. <laughs> you, like, have to. Rip, so... Yeah. No, like, when it comes to stuff like that, where, like, I know that I have something yeah, coming up that I have yeah. to pay for, that I'm like, 
no, like, I have this, like, that's coming up, like, I, whatever. But, like, if there's, right. for clothes, for example, I always blame it on, like, I need an outfit for this event. <laughs> or I'll order something online, like, I love Afterpay. That stuff gets me every time. My mom's like, how much was it? And I was like, mm, well, um, the installments break up into four, so technically I only paid $20. Okay guys, so we're at Ulta, so we're gonna run into Ulta real quick because we have to get a few things that we actually do need. Um, Who knows if I'll really come out with it. She may talk herself out of it. We'll find out. out.